And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for part three of our sub battle stream. Um, if you haven't checked out parts one and two, make sure you do that, especially part one. I kind of describe better in more detail exactly what we got going on here. But basically, I'm playing against our subscribers here in Twitch Chat all day today to determine which deck I'm playing each match. I have this wheel that I'm that I spin each time and of course the viewers bring their sweet decks as well so we have a lot of fun here so let's go ahead and spin our wheel to see what I'm playing up next so far I'm out on a lead I have a lead here but team chat got the last one and they're looking to put it together all right I'm going with Esper Colorless so Esper Colorless is up next Hawkeye just decided to show up so Hawkeye's helping out team chat Team Chat's 1-0 since Hawkeye's been here. All right, so Esper Colorless. Why isn't it open? I want to show the deck. So this is an, an Esper deck that is... Um, that has like Mystic Forge and so has a lot of colorless cards because we want to play our colorless cards off the top with Mystic Forge. So the only cards we got for color that you know that uh, Mystic Forge doesn't cast besides our lands are Thought Erasure, Kaya's Wrath, Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge. So pretty cool little deck here. Oh, ooh, I didn't do I didn't change it to best of three, did I? Cause I just reset arena. So there we go. Best of three. Ugh. It takes us how to re reselect the deck now. Okay, here we go. Alright, so TI ninety eight. There we go. All right. Good luck. I don't think I really want to keep two lands, all four drops. We can keep four lands. Unfortunately, Tezzeret, my favorite card, is going down to the bottom. Oh, thanks, yeah. Hawkeye likes being up here, being part of the show. Looking okay, at something right now. You're going to move. I need to get to the mouse. I need to get to the mouse. You're in the way, Hawkeye. There you go. He's like, I'm not in the way. You in the way. Yeah, <laughs> Hawkeye's on team chat side so trying to make me time out. Thankfully, what Hawkeye doesn't know is in uh, these matches, there is no clock. Uh, this this could be Nexus, which I think I'd have like no chance of beating. Yep, I got definitely team chat. All 
All right, looks like Nexus. Our actions determine the course of history. Good choice. I don't know what I have in my sideboard to try to help win. Like, I don't know if I'm playing on no more egos. But yeah, I have, I have no shot here. I know I noted this somewhere. <laughs> there is great power. Maybe I should have made a creature last turn. So this thing can be pretty big next turn. Like, you know, we can kill Tamio, for example. But I don't think it's going to matter too much. I'm just going to activate these treasure maps so we don't have to... That card doesn't do anything with Tamiyo in play. Why do I want that thing? Doing that so we don't have to... Uh, make a decision every single time, or, you know, so it doesn't stop me to to do something. Yeah, so their cat is doing like the purring thing all the time, but yet they're still like playing their cards and stuff. Like I don't know how that's possible. Like I thought it does that like whenever you mouse over, but like you can't really have it moused over while you're playing all your cards and everything. They're like, is that like a setting or something? Because yeah, that's that's that cat making that purring noise, over and over. Doesn't do anything when I click their cat. If you mute the opponent. Then I don't think you hear the purring noise anymore, I, I don't think. No, I guess you still do. I, j I just tried. Oh no, I didn't. Never mind. Just kind of doing like science experiment here. No tail should be discarded. <laughs> Your cat's here in the computer cat. All right, I think this is pretty safe to say. Team chat's picking up another win.
pretty safe to say. Yeah, bring out the big guns. Vampires, Civic Nexus. Down, 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 down. So I know Founder Renewal doesn't really do anything for me, um, and I could have played Sahili instead. But basically, I just have it in here as um, a one mana artifact, so that it works with like Mystic Forge, just like a, a card just to play off the, you know, to get an extra card off the top. It also can cycle. As well. All you have to do to, to, to challenge Kakashi is just after the match, be here in chat, and all you have to do is type the word battle into the chat. That's all you got to do. How high are you on a food-based deck in Eldraine Standard? I don't think that will really be a thing. There will be... There will be food tokens in standard, especially with having Gilded Goose and Oko, but just based on food tokens, I don't think that's going to really be a thing. And go with the Gil Glove to try to hit the land drop before the Spyglass. Just hopefully we hit the land drop. Instead of just, just playing Spyglass. I only have one spyglass over here. Very good hand over there. I have I had a really low percent chance of winning this game and this was not the kind of hand that I could beat. Action. Ooh, a Tezzeret based food deck? Yeah, that would be pretty tough, but never know, maybe. You never know. I think some of the Brawl cards can see standard play. Like that Sultai creature, that's definitely a card I'd, that I could play in standard. Um, maybe the Jund one, too. I don't remember exactly what, what they all do, but definitely the Definitely that Sultai creature. Like, certainly powerful enough for standard.
Awaken. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. All right, gonna try to take out the Narset. Having, you know, got to have Spyglass name as can to the Sunken Ruin, because otherwise they get three as can activations a turn with Reclamation. I still have basically no shot here. Is it Bant, not Sultai? Yeah, that that thing. Whatever. Whenever you play creatures, you like draw a bunch of cards and stuff. That thing's playable. The minus three may be useful. Re-grabbing re other spy glasses. All right, I mean, this is just over. I don't really know why I'm still playing. Last one will blow up Spyglass. Millions of cards over there, millions of mana. I am finished here. Let's move on. All right, if you want to be the next person to play up next, if you are a subscriber, Go ahead and type the word battle into the chat. You know, just for subscribers, but if you want to be up next here. Can you use Brawl specific cards outside of Brawl as long as it makes sense? The the Brawl cards are legal in standard as well. So you can you can use them in standard as well. You do Kakashi, don't use an exclamation point. Just type the word battle. There you go. There you go. Yeah, GG's T98. Yeah, the deck I was playing has no shot in that matchup either. And yeah, just had no shot. All right, everybody getting in there? Everybody typing battle? Looks like it. Okay, let's see who's up next. Ponage Factory. All right, Ponage Factory, you are up. So send me that gamer tag. Here's my gamer tag. All right, we're gonna spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. Oh yeah, no, I, that's okay. Yeah, that's just how that's just how it it lines up. You know, you have your your good and your bad matchups. All right, so Grixis Control. All right, Grixis Control. What's our Grixis Control deck looking like? We're trying to curve out into the Dragon God and kill a bunch of creatures. So here we go. Good old Grixis Control. The Onage Factory. All right, good luck. Mulligan. All right. Uh, no blue mana. 
Do I go to five? No, I think we just keep this and ditch the Narset and, you know, have cast down Ritual of Set. Yeah, Beat, so we're going to have, um, so, you know, coming up tomorrow, we're doing our, our Throne of Eldraine set review, talking about the entire set and everything, you know, starting early, 1 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a real uh, good day there, good stream, so um, we got that tomorrow, and then on Monday, we'll be doing Standard 2020 for Monday, and then uh, No Stream Tuesday. And so I'm, and then Wednesday, I'm not exactly sure what the plan is for Wednesday as far as what decks or anything, but basically only playing standard, the standard format one more day on Wednesday. And then we got Throne of Eldraine starting on a Thursday. All right, looking for Nicol Bolas. Dragon God. No more Risen Reefs. Wonderful Orange Factory is just playing Sultai Treachery. Yeah, that's a possibility. Some of the favorite Throwback Thursday decks on Wednesday. I don't know, we'll kind of see. In exchange for eternal servitude. Another time, Planeswalk. <laughs> I have, have no yeah, I can do, I, I can do 2020 it. match as well. Arcane Adaptation. Okay. So all the creatures are elementals now. Your assault is insulting. So all creatures are elementals. Your defiance is infuriate. Witness a moat of my power. Basically, okay, so just reducing. All their resources, like that's what these Nickel Bolas cards do, you know, like just just want to get rid of all the resources. No, get yeah, I was gonna say get rid of an adaptation. To attend, let your weak Minds crumble. This I always have an answer. We're getting through all the cards. Ugh, getting through all those cards. I know I could go closer to wipe your bloodline. My schemes are never ending. You know, get closer to ultimating by doing the plus two, but honestly this is just so devastating just getting rid of everything that they have with Dragon God that that's just the thing to do. What if I unmoored Ego Risen Reef? No, we don't need to do that.
I do want Noxious Grasp over Legion's End. I want that. I'm not sure about Cry of the Carnarium. But I guess I I guess I want Cry of the Carnarium over anything else here. I don't love how Cry of the Carnarium it's basically just for Risen Reef and mana creatures. I guess that's good enough. You know I have the four sits already. What's up, Mascalar? Thanks for resubbing. Hope everything's been going well. Sub number 19 on the day. That was a good duress right there. That was a real good duress. Hopefully life's been, been good. Hopefully the, the crazy life's been good, at least. Ooh. That's a good card. Blood for Bones and Agent of Treachery. Yuck. Definitely gotta get rid of that blood for bones. Alright, those two cards are gone. Factory is just one mana away from Ancient and Treachery, yep. Uh, darn, yeah, it'll get better. I gotta kill this Leafkin Druid. So now they're two mana down. Ugh. So I could minus three just to kill the Llanowar Elf. <clears throat> but I might as well minus four and grab Chupacabra. Now I'll have my draw step plus a couple of, you know, the Nickel Bull is ticking up. So I'll have three draws here. Look for something to kill Llanowar Elf. There we go. Or look for Thought Erasure. I know what must be done. Or another Ravager. Oh, would have had the land. It's not a very powerful Nicol Bolas, but... Mm. 
Now I don't have to worry about blood for bones. My disposed death means nothing to me. And don't have to don't have to worry about them getting that back. Sometimes when you're playing Grixis, the cards just line up for you, and we saw that that match four mana nickel bolus just really really shine. <laughs> the ownage factory was shut down due to land tenure issues. Yeah, GG's factory. That's that's the thing. Whenever whenever Grixis wins, it it wins real mean. Yeah, I got to draw the three off agent also. All right, let's see who's up next. All right, so if you're a subscriber, want to be the next person to battle, of course, type the word battle into the chat right now. And we'll see who will be up next. I'll let the wheel decide what deck I'm going to be playing as well. Yeah, Nicol Bolas stealing Agent of Treachery synergy. Uh, yeah, yeah. You even had the you had the basic forest in your hand, also. Yeah, you could have just played the forest and protect from duress. There. I did not impossible. No. Okay, is everybody in there? Everybody. Everybody typed battle. Hey, what's up, Vladimir? Thank you so much for being sub number 20 on the day. That's two sub goals towards our next 12-hour stream. We already have the 12-hour stream scheduled for Thursday. So that's so we've got two sub goals towards the next one after that. All right, let's see who's going to be up. Looks like everybody was in there. Radical Guru. You are the winner. Send me that. Gamer tag, Radical Guru. There's mine. All right, I'm spinning the wheel. What deck am I playing? Oh, yeah. All aboard the party bus. We got the party bus. Now this deck, I honestly don't think has anything in M20, and I think this deck was from before M20. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, this deck was from before M20. But that's all good. We don't need no M20 cards. Not when you got the party bus. Just gotta throw a cinder block onto the gas pedal, jump on in the back, and just say, take us wherever you wanna go, party bus. All right, good luck, Radical Guru. I think Ogari Citadel's on the wheel somewhere. Maybe it's not. Doesn't look like it actually. <laughs> Body's ready. Love lumbering battlement. Yeah, hopefully we get some sweet lumbering battlement action going on here. <laughs> the first time I played this deck, it just kept laughing the whole time. Yeah, it's. When this deck works, it's crazy. We had we had that really crazy game, I remember, against um, Golgari Citadel, where we had like no business winning, and and we just got the got the combo. Like, 
they like killed all this stuff but didn't kill my little wall of lost thoughts and we ended up comboing it was pretty sweet <laughs> the bant and the furious it's our bant party bus bant party bus part part two the bant and the furious Fibblefit mirror. How often do you see the Fibblefit mirror? Yeah, we're gonna want the bus. We're keeping that bus right there. Yeah, it looks like Kethis combo. But who knows, maybe not. Ah. Field of the Dead with Fibble tip. Walker with Walker is like not bad as you know, we could get like an infinite life combo, but I want to just kind of dig for other things. Fibble tip of the dead. This is all just an illusion. Let's think this. Through. Milled over my own fibble tip. What a jerk move. I'm gonna keep the three creatures here and just play Vivian. I didn't you can't stop nature. Alright, so mirror image is another battlement. We need three battlements and a wall of lost thoughts to mill them out. How you play the hand that plan doesn't work too well whenever they have a Jason play though. We're getting massacred. Meet my newest friend. We're getting massacred. All right, we got Party Bus Tron, Triple Bus. We're throwing buses on buses. <laughs> throwing buses on buses. Tatiova. No. no. Not again. Uh Vivian That's brutal This will come in handy me later. I'll protect you.
All right, making him chump with Tatiova. All right, we threw a bus on a bus. So now we, we got a bus on a bus. Yep, there's Juridic Vow. Yep, so yeah, Sultai Legends, because yeah, Tatiova, Masker Girl, Thibble Thib. It is an honor to meet you. All right, so they got a Tamio, a Fibblethip. Field of the Dead's a good idea for Druidic Vow. It's a matter of give and take. We could really use Trample for this battlement. Just. The bus just has vigilance. The bus doesn't trample. The storied past holds our future. I've got time. This isn't a fight you can win. We need new cards. This might be a bad idea. I don't think I really win this because of that Jace. I don't really have a chance. The Masker Girl getting rid of all of my card advantage things. And then the Assassin's Trophy. Obviously, the, that Assassin's Trophy was quite brutal. So, yeah, if I, if I play the other Battlement, if I get a third bus, we just get infinite buses. But I don't really do anything with infinite buses right now. I want to see if I can draw something to do with infinite buses. I know, this, this bus should definitely trample. Druidic Vow! Seven cards. Wow, that's crazy. Yurok, Tatiova. Shuffling it all back with Guy's Blessing. Yeah, like they may have just milled themselves out and won with Jace, but the guy is blessing, shuffled the cards back. To the library. Because yeah, they haven't activated like Jace or Tamio yet. I would have a shot if it wasn't for this Jace. I don't really have a shot because of this Jace. Like if I just draw a wall of lost thoughts, I can do infinite mill. But infinite mill doesn't beat Jace, of course. 
So I don't I don't really have removal. Like my deck doesn't have removal, so I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how I'm supposed to beat Jace. Does Gaia's Blessing... Wait, does Infinite Mill even beat Gaia's Blessing? I guess it doesn't, does it? Does it just... Does Gaia's Blessing keep on reshuffling the, the whole library and, or, like, the whole graveyard? It never gets exiled or anything? Just keeps on working? Hmm. So how am I supposed to win? I don't think I have my own Jace. No, there's no Jace in here. As far as milling myself goes. So the mill plan's just useless against the guy's blessing Jace deck. So do we just kind of turn into this pretty crappy Bant mid-range deck? I suppose. Streaming for about two hours longer. Um. Okay. I don't know exactly when that event that LED event where you have all the cards. ELD. The ELD event. All right, need to draw a blue source. I don't know how many blue sources this deck has. It doesn't seem like too many. Like, we didn't have that many blue sources that first game. I'm known for my excellent timing. That's more like it. There we go. Blue source found. Gateway Plaza. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, down to twenty. We're almost there. What's what's Ad Astra? Trust me, I have a plan.
All right, well, now we have the Branch Walker. And now Branch Walker and Frilled Mystic. So we get to start putting on a little bit of a clock. So I could have just played Jade Light and and oh, hope to hit any you know, hope to hit a land in the top two to be able to have Frilled Mystic up as well, but I just want to have Frilled Mystic up. And of course, this is just how Frilled Mystic is really broken. Because you get to put it back into your hand with the fairy. Let's try this. Hey Vitellius. Games are going good. Gotcha, it's a good sci-fi movie. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be preparing for how are we doing over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I got a counter, because that gets that brings two zombies along with it. Yeah, I'll be preparing for Thursday. Making decks and everything like that. All right, so that's my that's my chance of winning, having just a perfect hand like that. Turn two to fairy, and then turn three for the rest of the game have frilled mystic available. <laughs> yeah, even though we're we're bad bat mid range, we still got frilled mystic, so we still have one ridiculously good card. Yeah, feel free to do that, Matthew. All right. I got to try to win game number three on the draw. Gosh, two j -Li Rangers are not doing it, even though this is a perfectly reasonable hand. We'll try it. <clears throat> I need Land War Elf. I need the best card in standard. Ah, oh, I thought I had it. I thought that was Land War Elf. I thought that was Land War Elf. So, Jade Light, I'm going to be looking for Frilled Mystics or Negates with Jade Lights. A Golgari slash Soltai deck in mind? If so, what are the key cards? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think there's a, a Gilded Goose Oko deck. I don't need you anymore, Lanowar Elf. I need you earlier. And... Uh, this card's good. I don't know. That card can find Frilled Mystics. And your rock is just amazing. So, I mean, like, all the elementals stuff is still going to be really good. Um, but the new set, I think the, the Golgari colors are the two strongest colors in the new set. I think both green and black. 
are the I think those are the two strongest colors there. Let me aid your research. One ones are so good. Just chump lock in there by so much time. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's gonna work with like the adventure card art and like the other card art. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Maybe that's like a, a card style that they try selling. Um I think you will find my notes helpful. You're gonna play tribal two for one, Jund. All right, just get all the like adventure two for ones and everything. Oh, that was some good cards. Golgari Queen, you rock. Wow. Why is Massacre Girl always so devastating? Oh, it doesn't kill wild growth. Wild growth too strong. That's big. I would expect Brawl to have a permanent queue. I I don't understand what's the point of having formats and not having permanent queues, so it that doesn't make sense to me. why it wouldn't but from the announcement it made it sound like it was only going to be just direct challenge which is just just doesn't make any sense Yeah, loyalty should not Let's start above CMC. Again. Yeah, these these planeswalkers have so much loyalty, and the new planeswalkers have so much loyalty too. They just they just decide that planeswalkers need to have tons and tons of loyalty these days. Language there, Dag. Please don't use that language. The past is never forgotten. All right, well. We're basically just not going to get through two twos ever. We just have a five seven and four five, and we just got negates. But we're never getting through a bunch of two twos. I like Planeswalkers overall. I think I think they're interesting card types and everything. I do think that some of these Planeswalkers recently have had too much loyalty. Like I think Nyssa has too much, Tamiyo has too much. So they can triple block to kill Battlement, but 
then they take nine. Or sorry, they take seven. Sorry, so sorry. They take seven. And then it's... And then it's pretty tough. Ugh, for them to have enough trump lockers for wild growth all the time. Bantu. Bantu is a little weird with Field of the Dead, where, yeah, like, didn't even don't want to sacrifice your lands because of Field of the Dead. Yeah, you can play Once Upon a Time on your opponent's turn one if you're on the draw. I was pretty surprised that card was an instant. Basically just kind of looking for like another Vivian Reed, a Tamio to get back Vivian. Or of course, Frill Mystics. You'll usually want to wait a little bit uh, to play it to know what your opponent's on. Unless you're like, you know, digging for the Gilded Goose on turn one. But it's, you know, even though you can play it on turn one if you're on the play, maybe you want to just play like a tap land in and um, kind of see what the opponent does. So you have more information and then cast it like on their turn or like the beginning of your turn too. Flooding out over here. We've had those two negates for like the last like four turns. We did draw a Jade Light then a Branch Walker, but as you can see, all all the Jade Lights and Branch Walkers did was hit lands. Drawn 12 lands and 23 cards. Their lands make four two twos. Yay! There's a card was needed. Wild animals I like. No one knows the wilds like I do. Now, normally, I'd want Frilled Mystic, but we're behind. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, let's see. Emri. Okay, so Emri. Wait, Emri is the artifact one? Like waxes and wanes. I was thinking of a different card at first. Yeah, Emrise the artifact card. 
I'm not sure how that will do in Brawl, to be honest. Not sure if there's enough artifacts really to play. Yeah, yeah, Emery, Emery, or is it Emery? Emery is really good for older formats, like where there's a lot of good artifacts, but not really standard. There's not enough. All right, this is over. Long match, good games. We need to, we need to move on and let some more subscribers play. There. <clears throat> Our only shot was getting ahead and, and staying ahead with counter magic. We cannot win from that spot. All right, let's see who's going to be up next. So if you want to be the next person to battle, type the word battle into the chat there. GG's there, Radical Guru. Good games. Your deck completely... <laughs> yeah, good games. Your deck completely stopped when my deck was trying... You know, my deck is a mill deck, and you had Jace and... Um, and the green card that stops you from milling. So I had to just try to turn into a crappy mid-range deck and it won for one it worked for one game, but not for the other. For the other one I I drew twelve lands and twenty cards. But besides that, Sultai Legends looked really cool. I don't like the Bantu in your deck. I, I don't think that card's worth it. Over other things you can be playing. Um, yeah, the Bantu didn't seem worth it at all, but, uh, I guess, like, you're trying to combo kill them, like, whenever you have Jace, like, you get that with Jace in play, and you sacrifice a whole bunch of zombies, like, I don't think that's really worth it, though. Yeah, guy is blessing. Alright, is everybody type to battle? All the subscribers, are you in there? All right, let's see. Who do we got? Ian Ray. Get in there right at the end. Your number is up. All right, good luck, Ian Ray. Send me that gamer tag. Oh, you didn't. Oh, Guru, you didn't hear any of the things I just said. Uh. Yeah, basically, yeah, it was, real, it was a bad matchup for me. Yeah, because the deck I was playing was a mill deck, and <laughs> I had no shot at winning that game one. I had to try to just, like, cheese out games two and three with Thrilled Mystics, but it worked for one game. <laughs> I know, I, I went through, like, three minutes talking about the matchup. All right, I got Jeskai Walkers. Ian Ray, you got your... Yeah, I just did that. I just... I just did the short version just a little bit ago. That's what I just got done saying. Okay. Um, let's see. Where's my... Oh, because I'm in this screen. I was like, where's... Where's the direct challenge button? I was in the wrong wrong, wrong screen. <sighs> okay, what do I got? I got Jeskai Walkers. This is the deck I'm playing here. Okay. So here's our deck. It's just, you know, a bunch of Planeswalkers. Jeskai Colors. Nothing too special here. No Sarkins. I don't think that card's very good. And here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had I had the double negate for like four turns, because I know you know you were waiting for the one negate. I had both negates that same time, and all I did was draw lands like forever there. I mean, I drew, 
I drew a, a branch walker and a jade light, but both of those only hit lands. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put a a land down to the bottom. Yeah, this does look like Jeskai Teferi right now. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry, I got this. So just slowing the game down, that's exactly what Teferi does. You know, take away one mana creature, they we use another mana creature to attack to fairy. So just slowed the slowed the game down there for a little bit. Looking for deafening clarion. Ooh. Good thing I cut that on top. That was close. And that's what the the Time Walk to Fairy does. Um, we're in part three right now. You can also, Radical Guru, if you want to watch it right now, you can no just go to the break. video section on Twitch here. We will not fail. Behold nature's true power. Six loyalty is so much. Now. I think I just go Chandra Hold that Chandra ball. minus six kill Nissa. Doing that does mean Teferi dies. And of course, Chandra dies. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. We we're just talking Can last match about how how some of these planeswalkers have too much loyalty, and of course, Nissa is one of them. Now, Sarkin, Sarkin only only helps like whenever you're gonna win the game, or like when you can probably win the game anyway. Like, Sarkin just helps finish his games when you have a bunch of planeswalkers in play. But it's like you're you're doing just fine when you have a bunch of planeswalkers in play. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. This All right, so yeah, Ian should have attacked. Just have the island attack the fairy first. And then play Chandra, and then the Chandra would be able to, um, would have been able to emblem and be at eight loyalty. Evil well chosen. Yeah, I mean that's an option as well to just keep Nissa keep Nissa alive and let Let's get to just let them make more lands and then Clarion. Um, I'm a little worried about Crasis, you know, like it seems like there's always a Crasis that follows up, but I guess there was no Crasis here. So I need Karn to stay alive. Looks like they may have had that crisis. Uh, 
All right, good. So now I can go grab Ugin. Let's take out this Chandra. The time has come. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I guess I'm I guess I'm casting another Clarion. How does this auto tap work? It looks like they had more, like that I had more red sources available afterwards. I will protect the virtue of this world. Rise, my elemental friend. See, if I could have just had double shock up and not cast the Clarion, then they they probably aren't sending both things at Ugin, and whatever they do attack Ugin, we we get to double shock, so we could keep Ugin around. Uh, auto tap. A curious choice. And now I don't have Clarion anymore. And this is really hard to beat. The land fights for us. This will not deter me. Yeah, the more that I think about it, I do think that I just didn't didn't uh I didn't do that right with the Clarions. Maybe I should have just let them kill the Teferi, maybe even not play the Chandra. Just let them make more lands 3-3s three and get better value out of the Clarions. That would make sense. Okay, so if we bring in all these things, what do I think of Cavalier of Thorns with Feasting Troll King? I basically think, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's good. I mean, basically, Cavalier of Thorns is, is awesome with everything in the set. There's going to be a lot of Cavalier of Thorns in Standard. There's not really downsides to the card at all. Yeah, disposable hero. I sure can. I haven't, I haven't uh, received any. But yeah, that's something I can definitely do. That's a, yeah. So yeah, I just haven't received any yet. This is exact, exactly like last time. Just all lands and the two Teferis. You cavalier throw Troll King in the graveyard, then you can put Troll King in play by sacrificing three foods. Yep. Sure can. Gotta have the foods, but yep. It's great there. It's great with the Great Henge, giving you the mana to play that thing. Just great with everything. No, 
I am not making this up as I go. Let's slow this down. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Only time will tell. I don't, I don't know what to do. I know eighty eight keep an open mind. I'm thinking Clarion next turn with Teferi to protect Clarion. From getting countered. Could have gone to Fairy to tuck Nissa, but then then I'd still have to deal like I'd still have to clear on these things away, but then there'd be another Nissa coming back to make more lands after that. Be wary of the ground you walk on. This was overwhelming. No, I mean a seven seven or a seven six with it's the feasting trollkin is a seven six vigilant trample. Like it's a good card. It has trample. It's just how easy our food's gonna be to make and everything. Sensation. Stop. Glad I could help with your not being on fire problem. A lot of loyalty over there. Probably say cookies and cream for my favorite ice cream flavor. No, food will not be in the next set. No. It's a mechanic for this set only. Tap. They're gonna tap one of my red sources. I can no longer stand by and watch. I am in need of rest. Don't worry, I got this. So I went with the Teferi first because they could have had negates. Like they had two mana up, they could have been in negate. Let 
Let's try this. I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. <sighs> there never stops being Nissa's. Just never, never stops being Nissa's. So I guess they have counter magic that they want to play. You just let me know if you're up for round two. There's a saddle of the wreckage in my deck. I guess I have that. Or some way to deal with these Cavalier Thorns. This card's just pretty busted. Pretty busted. I can create or destroy. Arena's really lagging. There we go. Alright, so that'll get shuffled back. They could describe to you. And then do their draw three, just put two back thing there. I don't imagine this can really end any way except for me losing, but we'll see. Uh, you know, maybe we rip Settle the Wreckage and there is only just one card over there. Stand by and watch. Reverse! What do I think will be the strongest deck next expansion? That's... That's still just way too early to tell. I don't... Oh, come on. Unfortunately, I just used my Teferi Tuck. And now there's a 9-9 that's flying. And I do have the Ugin that can minus, but I really wanted the Ugin to continue to tick up. So that's not good. Hurry. 
Looks like I, I may need to... Some solutions must be built. I like to think fast. Yeah, there's that mass manipulation in the graveyard. That's a scary card. All right, so if I go six to them, 18, and I hit them for seven, down to 11. That's probably just a waste. All right, maybe that was a waste. I don't know. So, like, they would have been down to 11. I would have the shock for 9. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I understand that Bantu can do that, but I, I don't think that's better than other cards you can play. I, I wouldn't really recommend playing that. Will keep up the pace. Can't really be more of those. Are you certain of your decision? as genius does. I don't want to make it too obvious by attacking with every single servo. We're going to leave one servo back. Sarkin, how would Sarkin be lethal here?
It's going to be tough to beat manipulation, but we'll see if we can do it. And our last few games have been so long. <laughs> I am getting drained out from these last few matches. You know what? I'm not done yet. These have been so difficult to try to win. See, I don't have the mana to play Karn and Teferi. I, only, I have eight mana right now. So my plan is to get Teferi back and binding the Karn. So I can't use Karn to grab Chandra. So back up Chandra. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you get out of my way. Or, you know, don't. Dueling you will be excellent research. I was kind of planning on having Teferi tuck my binding. I have learned much from my ancestors. Use of that laser. Yeah, I just don't have a way to win. I don't have a way to win. Yeah, mass manipulation. Got me, but yeah, I mean, all this other stuff. I don't have a way to win. <laughs> Thank you so much there, Gator Frank. Thank you very much. All right. Nine to five. There for team chat. All right, so that's going to end part three. For our uh, sub battle stream. Um, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube... Hope you click on over for part four as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next part.